What's up, guys? Lolo G Productions here, and we're gonna do the review of the Sima Sima X125 Nano Drone. It has a gyroscope, and yeah, and it comes with the drone itself, with the propeller guards, the controller, which kind of looks like an Xbox remote, and the charger, the instruction manual, and one more extra set of the propellers. So this drone can do a flip and it does and it has headless mode. If you guys don't know what headless mode is, it's when you press it and then when that direction is always forward. So even if the drone's facing like this, it's still the forward is still gonna be that way. So the drone is still gonna go that way. Because you set it in that mode. And to reset it, all you have to go like that and then it resets it that way. So yeah, it's good to find and it's tucking you guys there. Okay, this is the review of the Sima X125 Nano Drone. Let's fly. Okay, this is on easy mode. There's two different flight modes, hard and easy. Also does flips too, so it needs to be five, like five meters or something up in the air. You just hold it. Oops. There we go. Okay, so you have to hold it and then see, let's do it closer to the camera. There we go. It kind of falls down when you do a flip. I'm not really sure why. And so let's switch it to hard mode. You see how fast it moves compared to easy mode? You see how fast it moves? Okay, now let's switch it to easy. And you see how slow it moves back and forth? See? Okay, and let's switch it to headless mode and I'll show you guys what it does. Okay, to put it in headless mode, all you have to do is hold down this button until you hear beeps. It does about like 8 beeps until it stops. And then now the quadcopter lights is going to be flashing every like 30 seconds. So then now, whatever, whichever the direction of the drone is, that forward is always going to be that way. Okay. So you see, any direction the drone is, it's always going to be... I can't... Okay. Uh, my sister's gone, that's why I was kind of talking weird. I'm not really used to in the camera. Okay, so... See? Let's face it. Okay, you see how the drone's facing? The green is back and the red is forward. But even that, it's always going to go that forward. And then... It's always going to go backwards. What the frick? What the frick? What the frick? Okay, and um, in the instruction manual, it said every time it crashes, you need to reset it. And to reset it, you got to go like this. Until the lights, until the lights flash. Let's see. Let's move the drone more forward. Okay, you need to hold it like that. Until you see the lights flash. Like that. Okay, so. Now that way is forward. What the heck? Let me see if there's something wrong. If you guys own a drone, you'll probably know. Um, I was flying it. Um, yeah. My hands are blue, don't, don't ask. And, yeah, I see hair got stuck in it. So all you have to do is pull off the propeller and get the hair out. So I'll do that and get to you guys later. And these propeller uh, guards do come off, but it comes off with the whole entire uh, engine assembly. So, well, like the white part you see, yeah, that's what comes off. So, yeah, you guys get the point of headless mode. And yeah, it works really well. But I'm used to flying it just regular, so I don't really like headless mode. 
And this is actually my sister's. I got it for her for Christmas because she wanted one. And yeah, it's really good for beginners because it um, it doesn't really, like there's easy mode, so it's really easy to fly. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Come back tomorrow for a new video and see you next time.